should reflect that. The gallery wall you create today can be easily updated with new photos and memories next year. The throw pillows you love now can be swapped out in a few years for a fresh look. Decorating is a journey, not a destination. Don't be afraid to experiment, to play, and to try new things. The most important rule of home decor is that you should love the space you live in. If an item or a colour brings you joy, then it belongs in your home. It's that simple. So, the next time you look around your room, I want you to see it not just as walls and furniture, but as a canvas full of potential. A place to tell your story. Start small. Pick one corner, one shelf, or one wall and make it completely unapologetically you. Add that quirky lamp you found at a thrift store. Hang that painting you made in high school. Display that collection of snow globes. Bit by bit, you'll transform your house into a home that is a true extension of yourself, a place that not only looks good, but feels good too. It's a space that welcomes you, comforts you, and inspires you every single day. Thank you so much for joining me today on this journey into personalizing your space. I hope you feel inspired to start making your home a little more you. What's one thing you're going to do to add your personality to a room? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear your ideas. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tips on creating a home you love. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Do you ever walk into your home and feel like something's just missing? Maybe it's a little bland, a bit impersonal, or just plain drab? Well, today we're going to change all that. We're embarking on a mission to transform your living space from drab to absolutely fab, infusing every single corner with life, colour, and most importantly, your unique personality. This isn't about expensive renovations or hiring a designer. It's about smart, creative, and fun ways to make your house truly feel like a home. So, grab a coffee, get comfortable, and let's dive into how you can bring your space to life. First things first, let's talk about the biggest and easiest game changer. Color. A fresh coat of paint can do wonders, but you don't have to paint an entire room to make an impact. Think about an accent wall. A bold navy blue behind your bed, a sunny yellow in your kitchen, or a deep emerald green in your living room can create a focal point and completely shift the mood. But what if you're renting or just not ready for that commitment? No problem. Removable wallpaper is your new best friend. It comes in thousands of patterns and textures, and when you're ready for a change, it peels right off. Don't just stop at walls, though. Consider painting a piece of old furniture, that dated brown bookshelf. Imagine it in a vibrant teal or a soft blush pink. It's an instant personality injection. Now, let's move on to the soul of any room, the textiles. I'm talking about rugs, curtains, throw pillows, and blankets. These are the layers that add warmth, texture, and comfort. Is your living room feeling a little flat? 
A large patterned area rug can define the space and tie all your furniture together. Look for colours from your accent wall or artwork to create a cohesive look. Swap out your plain, boring throw pillows for ones with interesting textures like velvet, faux fur or chunky knits. Mix and match patterns and solids. The key is to create a collection that looks curated, not chaotic. And don't forget your windows. Heavy dark curtains can make a room feel small and gloomy. Opt for lighter fabrics or even sheer curtains to let in natural light while still providing privacy. This simple swap will make your space feel instantly brighter and more airy. OK, let's get personal. Your home should tell your story.